Hey, I like to ask about rituals. Give Let's me all it. your rituals. I drink a lot of beer. I've quoted no. you a number of times you recently have? on the podcast. What's, yeah, I what's, think you, what's my quote? Okay, Give you, me some quotes, you bro. You mentioned it. Don't play me. What? When I, I You said thanks for the shout out to me recently. Oh, uh, I, uh, what, I listened to Brooke Lyons. Uh, hello, Brooke. I love you. Um, yeah, yeah. How you, I think this is the one where you talked about how going into auditions, we just have nerves. Mm. And it's mm-hmm. how your nerves manifest. And you yeah. just, auditioning should be about conquering your nerves and figuring out what you do and then counteracting it. Yeah, I feel like it comes up uh, a lot in class. I, I used to harp on it a lot more when I taught just the audition style class, but I feel like we always have a litany of, of reasons why an audition doesn't go like we had planned it out, which, right. by the way, it never goes like you're going to plan it, so no. stop planning how your audition's going, um, first of all. Second of all, number one on the list of things of why I fucked up my audition is nerves always yeah, yeah always 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 but it seems to be the one excuse we all ignore as actors like oh it's just nerves well That's how can the number one problem be the thing that you just given uh, like a free pass to so i'm always like in class for example when when we do audition night most people are still kind of nervous because you're performing for people what manifests for you when you're nervous because it's different for everybody i get dry mouth i talk too fast there's a there's a you know, I got a laundry list, but when I can recognize that nerves are kicking in, it's sort of the claim it to tame it kind of a situation, right? If, if you can figure out what it does to you, you have a better chance of working through it, around it, over it, with it, whatever, but you have to be able to recognize it. Well, and it's one of those things of like, if you don't talk about it, it's just yeah. going to keep manifesting itself. So bring that darkness into the light. And when you said that, it was, felt like that's what happened to me. I was like, oh. Oh, that's a really cool way to look at it. Well, it's funny because our egos never, never, or not never, our egos often don't let us recognize it. Most of us are having similar experiences. We all think it's only me. I'm the only one who gets like this. We're all nervous. You right. should be. You yeah. care. You want this job. It could change your life. Like, why wouldn't you be nervous? Right. So I love that. So do you have any rituals? You mentioned your dry mouth. You talk fast. Mm-hmm. So what do you do before an audition or anything like that? A few things. Audition-wise, in the last few years, at least, uh, I almost always call my wife when I f- have found parking and have her run it over the phone with me, like on my loudspeaker oh, in my car. Cute. So I can put the script down. I'm there. I'm not nervous about getting there and yeah, like yeah. that stress. And I'm not just jumping out of my car and running. And I just want to hear it. I want to listen. One last time, I just want to listen and see where I'm deficient in my story. Because if I don't know... It's not even like actual words of the next line, but if I don't know what's happening next, I'm deficient at understanding the story right now. Right. And it just sort of unearths right before, not right before I go in, because clearly I still have to walk in, sign in, sit down and all that. So it gives me a little bit of time to contemplate like, okay, this is the the things I want to think about. Because the last thing I want to do is walk in the waiting room, sign in and be pouring over my lines over and over and over again. Right, right. That does not help me. It just, it makes me... It makes me connected to the dialogue in a bad way. It makes me feel like it's my safety blanket. It makes me feel like if I don't say these specific perfect word or words perfectly, I've fucked up. Right. And that's the worst place to be because that's not acting. Right, right. That's just reciting words. Yeah. And I think we, a lot of actors think memorizing is like number one on the list of like what good actors do. Memorizing is a skill. Yeah. That's not acting. Yeah. You, you memorize lines by understanding story. So don't memorize lines on a page because I watch actors all the time. I can see a page turn, meaning you'll see them doing dialogue. And let's say your line continues on the next page. They always pause right when that page is supposedly they're turned because they're seeing it. Yeah, yeah. it in there. And it's subconscious. So you can't really get rid of it if that's your prep. If your prep is memorize the page, memorize the page. I think you're screwed at right. the end of the day. And look, you may be able to fake your way through it, but at the end, I want to have an experience that feels as close to real that the writer is trying to capture. That is not words on a page. Right. It's in, interaction. In that vein, so when you first get a script for an audition, what do you do you go through it and figure out the story of it or do you run it right away with your wife or something? I got to read it. I got to read it a couple times. It's, it's by tough. yourself? Yeah, because okay. my first and I don't like this, but my first um um focus a lot of times will be my first passes. I'll read the dialogue of my character out loud just to hear almost out into the universe for the first time what the the natural first reaction is out loud. Right. 
The only reason I don't love that is because I'm focusing then on my character right away. Right. When in reality, then I have to do double work. I got to go back, forget who I'm playing in the, in the script, and then read every word on the page. Because a lot of times we'll focus, again, on our dialogue, right. our dialogue, our di- my line, my line, my line, my line, right? All of a sudden, you I've done this many times in my career. Reading over the script, like moments before going in, reading stage direction, being like, oh my oh, God, I, that. I have I a coffee cup in my yeah. hand. What the what am I thinking? Right. Like I haven't even thought about where I am in this scene, where who I'm talking to specifically in my in my life for this character. It's it's really funny. We get so focused on me, 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 my character. You're just a part of the story. Right, yeah. You know what I mean? And again, once again, we have our the ego kicks in of like, I'm the center of the universe. You are not. You know, I'm allergic to relationships. So mm. I don't want this to sound yeah. derogatory, but yeah. Your wife just is always available before your audition no, to sit there and recite. Not always. Your not always. Shit. But we ch- we do try to plan it out. I'll be like at 3:45, can you make yourself available okay. for 5 minutes? So we, we there's definitely a dialogue going on. I'm like pick up my phone call, woman. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. You're allergic to relationships. I am. Do you I, get hives or No, I'm just never in them. 